Oh, we are live. Hooray. Hello, everybody. We are the Mad Scientists. I'm Mad Frankie. This is what I go. And together we make the Mad Scientists. Whoa. <laughs> Where are you? Come on. Stop messing about. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Finish. <laughs> All okay. right. Okay. I'm going to say hello to everyone, um, Liz okay. and Sherry and Mariah and Trish and Colleen and Tracy. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. Turn the screen I over. Can't... Yeah. If I, I've tried and I throw myself out in doing that. Yeah, you just... I either see the chat or I see what I'm seeing on, uh, you know, the screen. Right. What I'm here, or else what Violet is showing, but I cannot look at the chat because it takes over the whole screen. And when I try to escape back to here, I throw myself out. So that is not a good thing. So hello, everybody. We have some lovely bits and bobs to play with today. No um, worries, Mariah. It was just me in charge today. And I'm I got sidetracked talking to that guy over there. Uh huh. <laughs> got a, got a little, didn't watch the clock and got delayed. So Fran's going to oh. throw down some good inks and stuff here today. Let's see what else she's well, I've got. I've been throwing down. a couple down already. And what I've used here is uh, number 12. Let's pick up number 12. What did I do with number 12? There's number 12. And number 12 is red onion just by itself with no additives or anything. Well, it's got a clove in it and it's got gum Arabic, but nothing else. <clears throat> And I put it down here and it was nice and red like this. Look, like that. Nice and red. And you think, yeah, red, fine. But then I tried some things. Now, I've tried the sulfate of iron, which is a um, thing you put in the soil to um, make the plants more helpful. Yeah, it makes this for... Special acid-loving plants to take up the nutrients nutrients they eat for healthy growth and development. <coughs> a soil conditioner and feed. But also can be used with dyes. So. <coughs> oh, you the minute I start talking. Good grief. So I've used it, uh, something on here. Nothing much happened. I tried alum crystals. Nothing much happened. So then I tried copper sulfate and it went green. <coughs> I'll do a bit more of that to show you how it works. Number 12. It is cotton rag paper. It's nothing too special, I don't think. So there we have a nice little red pool. Yeah? <clears throat> Which dries to a sort of browny, greeny. I get my little scoop. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys, it just won't go away. And sprinkle it in. Look at it go green. Woohoo! And I'm going to spread that out about a bit so we can see more what's happening. So that's mixing it in, that's just leaving it to settle. You can see that it's copper, it's blue here on the paper with nothing else with it. <coughs> so that's one thing I did. I also tried <coughs> cream of tartar, which is supposed to do something, but obviously not to that. <coughs> and here I used number 10. Now, number 10, Tiora Forest Fruits Tea. And it's got nothing else in this one. I used the one that didn't have anything else in it. Put that on. Put some cream of tartar on. Nothing much happened. 
you can see where uh, there's a bit of blue where I added some of those um, copper sulfate crystals as well. <clears throat> but not a great deal happened there. And then I added some of the sulfate of iron and it turned more sort of purpley. This is simply me messing about with a bit of paprika. To, and that went a bit red. <clears throat> and adding the alum, I added a couple of crystals of alum to each one. And nothing happened at all, so I didn't work with that. The alum is actually a mordant for cloth, but you never know. <clears throat> it was worth a try. Let's have a look at the avocado. This is the burnt avocado. Let's see what that will do. You never know. Little pool. Can you see this pool? Good. You've got it in the view. Good. It's a pinky brown, this one, isn't it? Oh, somebody was asking about um, mould. Now, all these bottles have got um, preservative in the form of a, some sort of essential oil or a whole clove. And it's also, they've all got, I think they've all got um, gum arabic in a certain amount. <clears throat> uh, but I had more than enough of some of them. So I kept them, put them in another room because there wasn't room in here. And I went and had, a, I was looking for something. And uh, as I was looking, I noticed that uh, the blue butterfly pea flower uh, had some mold in it. Now, you can throw that away. Or uh, one of the dye people, the um, ink people said, you can just take that off, strain it off and you keep using it and put some preservative in what's left or, or reheat it. But of course, some of these things are heat sensitive. So it kind of depends. <clears throat> I haven't learned all about that yet, but I will. Well, I'll try to. Don't know about learning about all of it, but I'll certainly try. Hang on a moment. That's better. So we put a little bit of the avocado down there. And what are we going to put with it? Well, let's try a little bit of this uh, sulfate of iron. I put some in into a little pot. <clears throat> Easier to get at. And I'll take a few little bits of that. And we'll see what happens. Don't you see that? Where I put it, it's gone dark. some in this one here <clears throat> um, it seems to me that um, ferrous sulfate does turn things darker yeah you know Paula Paula has a suggestion um, yeah that might just be something you want to try What's that? Well, you know how uh, P uh, has her cough syrup. Yeah. During the streams. So. Oh, that. Or uh, <laughs> I'm not into whiskey. What? <laughs> I'm not into whiskey. It makes oh, me. No, feel... no, 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 no. Paula suggested you need some gin, love. Oh, now that's a much better idea. <laughs> Well, you know, so I put, it, it can't hurt, so maybe that could be your cough syrup. Maybe it, you know. Yes, I mean, maybe. even if you still cough, you're going to feel real good about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. I could ask Ian to make me a gin. <laughs> that, would be, that would be. So Paula also um, has a question. She says, weird question. Once you paint on the papers, will it still go moldy? That was, yeah, I was wondering about that. I'm just turning up my volume. That's better. Um, yes, well, uh, <clears throat> well, if you're going to paint it on paper, I would use the preservative before you do that. Because uh, you can put in a clove, a whole clove, 
you know, I don't mean of garlic, I mean a clove, those little flower stem things. Or you can use oil of clove, or you can use wintergreen oil, which I've used. Lovely smell around the place with that one. Oh, what else can you use? <laughs> I've used red thyme oil. I heard somebody say you could use that, but I will watch that one and see if it actually does anything. Red thyme oil. These are all essential oils, by the way. <clears throat> and what was the other one? And then it's, that's clove is the other one. You have you been writing things down and taking notes? Yeah, I've been putting the notes on the back of here. Great, because someone above, I think Sherry maybe, uh, suggested it would be lovely to see all this in a PDF file. Wow. I don't think I can do that. I can do that if you send me the info. Oh, okay. Well, what I was going to do was make a, uh, a journal, um, a set of notes, uh, and using these colors right. in the journal. So you've got the color, and then you could put a swatch of the color if you're putting something else in it, like the copper sulfate yeah. or the cream of tartar or alum. I don't know yet whether alum will work with anything, or the, the sulfate of iron. But there are other things you can do as well. You can add to, to things as well. But um, as I was just about to say, you can also use oil of clove instead of using a clove. Right. Uh, so some I, of them I've done that. I so, don't know. Eddie asked, can you use cinnamon oil? I don't know if cinnamon is on the list of preservatives. Yeah. It is. Well, I would love to use jasmine oil, but I don't know if that's a preservative. With any essential oil or preservative, some will have more preservative in them, more germ and uh, bacteria killing properties than others. Like we all know that wintergreen oil is good because you get Ooh, wintergreen yeah. ointment and put it on bruises and skin problems, don't you? So, I mean, when I was young, that was used a lot. And I remember the scent very distinctly. So, you know, you sort of I put some wintergreen oil in an ink. It's a lovely smell. Now, wouldn't it be nice if jasmine was also one? But I'm still trying to find out which ones are and which ones are. I've got a few essential oils. I've got a set of very small essential oils, the little ones, you know, hiding way upstairs, but nothing as big as this. So I found somewhere that sells them like this. And I thought, that's good. That's lovely. Methyl salicylate. 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 Something like that. Wintergreen. The other name for wintergreen. <clears throat> it takes me a while, especially when the writing's very small, to learn how to, to pronounce these. Now, look at this one. This has gone quite dark. Almost black. The one with the ferrous sulfate in it. So you can not only add it to the ink when you're making an ink, if you want a particularly dark ink, you can add it when it's on the paper. And this is so much more fun, I think. So much more fun. So we can try another thing. What about red cabbage? Now, red cabbage is quite reactive with both a base and an acid. So let's have a look and see what that does. Uh, which one is the red cabbage? Yes, we have a title for your channel. Oh, none of them. <laughs> Typical. There's something past 14 that's a red cabbage. I think this is hibiscus here. So maybe the red cabbage are these. I think 25, 26, and 27. Let me have a look and hoik them out. That's why I'm trying to make a, um, a more comprehensive um, right sort of journal so you know what's happening. With and them. Lisa has titled it. Lisa has suggested a title, rather. Oh, yeah. Um, which, which I like. Just Field Notes by Fran. Very, very simple. Field Notes by Fran. Yeah, why not? Frankie's Field Notes. There red cabbage go. and baking soda. Red cabbage and red cabbage and vinegar. So let's start. I'm starting all these with the basic things, you know, with nothing else. The only thing I've got there is burnt avocado, which is just all it's done is give me a nice, strong color. Luckily, it didn't burn all that badly. <clears throat> K 
caught it just at the right time, I think. So we'll use the um, pure red cabbage. I, I've started putting the word pure on the ones that don't have any additives in them. Didn't put it on this one. So I'm going to give know. a warning right now. We have, um, I'm hearing thunder. We're having storms Oh, getting closer, just pop up storms and when they when they hit south of us they it was actually quite damaging weather so if you lose me i'll be back as soon as i can yeah will this stream still be there that's what i'm not well sure i should think so i think i've got oh, i'm not so sure because we're broadcasting from you to Streamyard. To yeah so just to, yeah, just so everyone knows we will we will come back as soon as we can or <laughs> Thank you for being here now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's I don't have one any over it. <laughs> Trish, will you please tell Tommy I said hi back? I have had such a busy weekend and still ongoing. Um, so I right, have so I've added time on the computer. This is 24. 24. To play and I've added sulfate, but it hasn't done anything. Both are retaining their own colors. The purple ink is still purple, and the blue copper sulfate is still blue. It may deepen the color slightly, I'm not sure. But uh, let's try some of the the iron. <clears throat> hi, Bethy. I know I said hi, but I wanted to say hi anyway. You know, you, you uh, the other day you brought out... Um, that bag of huh i've got a nasty feeling that she may have gone or maybe it was me <sighs> yeah i don't know oh, who it is is everybody still there i'm still here okay you Just... we may be we may lose me um, I was saying you have already told me, but I thought you might want to mention it to the group that you had shown a bag of copper something or other. I can't pronounce it. What was that copper that turns out to be an iron additive? Oh, yeah. Well, I was just saying that um, I bought <coughs> oak gall ink and on the label, because I didn't have enough oak galls, uh, on the label it says... Rainwater, oak galls, copper ass. Yeah, cop, that's it. Gum arabic and clove. So using the same preservative and the same binder. Copper ass, I thought, was copper sulfate. It isn't. Copper ass is actually another name for sulfate of iron. So it's another name for this um, soil conditioner and feed. Copper ass. I had no idea. So it helps to turn inks dark. So... When you're trying to make oak gall ink and trying to make it black, adding the copper sulfate will deepen the black, which is what you want in the case of oak gall ink. Yeah. So now you can see where I added the oak, well, sorry, where I added the iron over here, this little area, it's gone a, a more of a navy-ish color rather than this purpley color we had from the red cabbage before so that's interesting now you can do the same thing with these but like the one that i've already added uh baking soda to and the one i've already added vinegar to but i don't really want to do that at the moment i would like to try aubergine because um i haven't done anything with that yet i made the aubergine ink the other night and it's not a bad color I had to put about three layers on it to get that that color. But let's have a go with that and see if that will do anything at all. Would be fun to find out. Put some down here. Got to wipe the sides. I made a bit of a mess with that. Okay. I also tried arrowroot on these two. Nothing happened, so I didn't mention it. But you never know. 
I mean, when I picked up the cream of tartar, which is a kitchen thing, the arrowroot was right there next to it. So I thought, that's a white powder. Let's try it and see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> Him. Bit of the copperas in there. Gone quiet. I had to rust oh. in. So oh, I, that's okay. I, uh, he's sitting outside with his fancy dancy camera and his remote and he's waiting for it to lightning so he yeah. can get a lightning picture and i'm like you're <laughs> nuts it's like weirdo right i'll just mix that in a bit and that one it is darkening it a bit it's making it thicker as well so I'm here with you. I, I'm what? I'm I'm paying attention. I'm just being quiet because well, you're you're explaining when, really well. When your microphone is working, I can hear a faint hum in the background. Ah, uh, and faint noises. You know, no, I'm nothing sorry. Huge. No, no, it's good. It means the microphone's working. Yeah, and it means we're still there. Well, so, and I have when, when you when he comes in the house, he barrels in. The man is is noisy. He just is. And he barrels in, so I try to grab the mute button and mute him in case he starts immediate. He forgets I'm online and starts talking too, because yeah. Lord knows He's what will come out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so let's try a little bit of this copper sulfate. Ooh, that is reacting a bit. <laughs> what was this? <clears throat> House twenty-four. This is aubergine without a number. Hi, Uda. I think that is reacting. It's not very huge, but I think it is. By the way, any saucepan you use, any pipette you use, any implement you use with these inks, especially, especially once you start using these chemicals, do not use for food. Oh, you're nice. Just thought I'd better mention that. You're Be nice. as strong as possible. And keep your cup of coffee away from it as well. Your tea, drink that before you start doing this. So that's the copper. It's not doing a great deal, but it is slightly, it's very slightly darker, I think. It could just be the amount of crystals in there doing it. Evie, will I get a, uh, will I get a preview that's good of of anything Ooh, he's made with the uh, Amsterdam colors. I'd love to see it. Sorry, Fran. Go ahead. Can you remember what that was? Well, no, but I'll go back. Hold the phone. I think it's the avocado. I think it's the avocado. Because <clears throat> there wasn't a number on the avocado. Right, so we've got. Um... Yes, it's the avocado. Sorry, I went back and looked. Yeah. I went back on YouTube and looked. It, it is the avocado. So I'm just putting plus FA plus CU. So I know what that means because those are the chemical symbols for those things. It might not be the complete chemical symbol for copper sulfate pentahydrate but i know cu means copper and fe means iron so well a little it's just a clue for me when in your notes in your field notes make a legend of your little alphabet listing there what alphabet listing You're you mean fe and cu oh well, it's just the normal the normal chemical symbols you just look I at know. a chemical chart you know i could no. put that in but I'm not going to be putting platinum in here, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I could do that as well. Just give so that's a and I did add a little bit of copper there. And I added CU here. Up there, nothing. And I added the FE there. <clears throat> and CU there. 
I think that was the one with the FE. I'm not entirely sure where. I think it was mostly just copper in that. It might have been a little bit of the <laughs> CU. That's a bit much, Eddie. Um, that's, that's plus CU. Eddie says so add a chemical chart, good. but that's a, that's a bit much. I mean, the, it's... It is just a bit, but I could print one off. <clears throat> it, it, it's been done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, what else have we got? Now, we could add a little bit of black walnut powder to some of these if you wanted to. But um, I think I'd rather put another color down to try things like that and put it down in a few little puddles. And we've got broom, which is a yellow, right? Yellow brown when reduced, yellow when fresh. So I'll put a little puddle of it over here. I know what you mean, Paula. I, I have some Baileys in the fridge that I put in my coffee, and I think I'm going to have me one straight up here in a bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a lot. I don't know where she puts it all in her head. My goodness. What? What, what? All, the, all your knowledge, just all your knowledge. Oh, I'm old, that's the thing. <laughs> a little, 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 yep, little iron. Oh, don't do that. The big chart. The... Broom, so that's uh, 36. Oh, periodic table, yeah. 36. And we're going to put some iron in. Yeah, Abby says bit. that looks like quinacridone, quinnic azel gold. Quinnic. It does look a bit goldy, doesn't yeah. it? It's yeah. quite a nice one. And I've got more broom flowers out there. A little bit more, I think. To see what happens. Ooh, thunder. So that's going darker. So basically, the iron is darkening the color because look here, we started with. Um, number 24, which was red cabbage, was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, red cabbage pure. Mm -hmm. And it's still purple around the edges here. But this bit down here, where I added the um, iron, it's gone a more bluey color, more navy. And this one over here has gone darker when I added the iron. But not a great deal. But a bit, I mean, it's quite a nice sort of, it's almost a burnt umber, that, whereas that's more like a sepia. <clears throat> so that's nice. So let's add a bit of copper to it as well. Find another little blob and add some copper, see what happens. If it's yellow, we might get a bit of green. Yes. Thank you, Uda. Effie is Ooh. iron, see you as copper. Yeah. Evie, I'm I'm forgetting. Uh, my short-term memory is shot. I'm oh, I'm I just I just say I'm full up. If you're gonna if you're gonna give me more info, look at that. Look, look at that. that. Look at the color of that one. Look at that. Oh, how can you get that up closer? Oh, you're making me dizzy. There you go. There you go. That one. Look at the look at the tongue? brilliant green in there. That's adding the copper. That one is where I added the iron. That's where I added the copper and this one. These two are copper. Isn't that lovely? It's really quite bright. I mean, it turned the copper to, uh, or the copper added, made it like patina. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that was from bro broom flowers, just the flowers from broom. I think that's marvelous. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly, Paula. Let's see. Uh, Eddie's a streamer. Beth, Eddie's a streamer. Um, Eddie is a streamer. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching Eddie the other day, just directly after PM at the studio. It came on, and I thought, all right, we'll leave it on then. <laughs> and Lisa streams. Lisa will be streaming with Sharon uh, this weekend, I believe, Lisa. Will you guys be ready then? 
And of course, Bessie, you know that uh, Mariah streams. Although she's going away and we're going to get Joshy. Who's doing a terrific job, by the way. Right, I've added some black walnut to this now. Because I felt like I wanted to. Sure. So we've got black walnut here. Now that is dark. Black walnut. The black walnut doesn't seem to mix up very well, but it does go dark. I mean, even on when I put some in a a pot, uh, an ink pot, I made black walnut ink. There's there's a uh, Eddie's channel. Go check out Eddie. He's pretty cool. Cool dude. Don't know what I did with the. Well, I don't know what I do with that. I thought there was one there, but it doesn't appear to be. But still, lovely green with that. Absolutely lovely green. In fact, I might add a little bit more to that one because there's a lot of um, stuff there. Let me just shift this more over to the view and um, take some more copper and I'll post Sharon's channel you'll see uh, Sharon and Lisa streaming together Saturday I used I was streaming I was um bleh, bleh, mouth work will you yeah mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just fascinated by that one so green yeah, it is, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah. I don't know um, whether that would permanently turn the ink that colour. I think it might. I don't know, though, how much the um, copper sulphate will mix in because it's quite grainy. I mean, I've got another lot of copper sulphate somewhere, and it's much grainier, more like crystals than this is not a powder, but it's closer to a powder. Now, oh, black wow. walnut mixy any. Anyone else here have a link that I need to be reminded of? Um, Uda says her dad, well, let's go back up. Evie says, azurite is found with malachite and is brilliant blue. And mm -hmm. Uda says her dad used to add the malachite to his trout pond on occasion. It was amazing. Just to change the color of the water, Uda. Darcy, that's right, Darcy. Let me put Darcy's up there. I'm sorry, Darcy. I'm such a bad person. Who have we got in here today? It would be nice to see all the links to the channels. That would be fun. Yeah, I'll put them in. I'll get them up there. Now, oh, Darcy, I'm sorry. I'm 20. just not, I'm oh, not on my toes, I'm telling you. I've got to put what I it's did there. Busy. Anybody else? I've got to get you up out of the way because I can't get my head in to write. Okay. So um, this is. Oh, yeah, Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> Bless your heart. Yes, yeah, about everybody. And then I did you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, just shoot me now. <laughs> Done. Uh, did I put any iron? I did. There's that was Bethy. the iron one. That's with Effie. What can I say? I love watching Bessie. With the iron, <clears throat> it's Thank a nice, with a nice warm brown. With the black walnut, it's a very gritty sort of color, but a bit darker. But don't forget, with the black walnut, you've already got FE in it, because it said so. Um, yeah. said on the pack, no, that was on the um, ink. Black walnut might have some yeah, iron in it, color. because it's got tannin. Doesn't that mean iron? I'm not entirely... No, I don't think it does, I don't but think it could it does. Be. It's a... It's... Well, I don't know, because, I mean, you get tannin yeah, in... in uh, uh, 
um, tea and and uh, yeah. Anything that has tanning in it seems to be a dark browny color. Yeah. Tea, coffee. I like that. Wood bark. So this one is what? This one is raspberry, cranberry, and peach. That's going to be difficult to write. I should write the number 20 on it. Yeah. There we go. Number. Oh, it's to control the fish fungus. I see. Oh. For the putting the malachite in the trout pond. So what was that? So it's no. <clears throat> That was the... It um, was, because 36 broom. Yeah. It was. So this is 20. Right. A little bit of this. Uh, rubber gloves. Yeah, I'm wearing rubber gloves because these are chemicals. Well, That's what I'm wearing. Said, they were talking... Eddie says, I like the walnut. looks like soil. And mm -hmm. Abby says, our neighbor had a walnut tree, and I had brown fingers for weeks. Why? Were well, you eating probably, their walnuts? Well, she was <laughs> probably collecting and trying to make the ink. And, and yeah. Oh, um, right. Right? And absolutely, you need a... Uh, the, the only thing I know for a fact with walnut trees is nothing grows around them. Well, actually, I found out something different about that. <clears throat> it can do that, but it doesn't automatically do that, and not for a very long uh, a wide area under them and not all walnuts do it either so needs one or two varieties i believe we i was had, looking at um, the kew gardens where they're talking about it we had black walnut trees my father-in-law ex-father-in-law planted black walnut trees and made sure that we understood that don't try to plant anything under them or within a certain yeah. vicinity yeah we, yeah um, about it's probably the black walnut is about 20 feet, 20, 25 feet from the black walnut trees. We started a garden, um, like a 200 foot by 50 foot garden. We started put in, and yeah. the black walnuts didn't hurt anything. We grew tomatoes and cucumbers and all uh -huh. the usual table fare. <clears throat> there you are, yeah. yeah so, Kew Gardens were right. <laughs> Or it might have been the RHS. I can't remember now, but I saw that there somewhere. So this is pretty interesting. Now, I think the best thing to do with this is to allow it to dry. Oops. Oops. And a mix. Ooh. It's got a mix as well. <laughs> it just did. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Well, so far, my I, I have two favorites. The the cranberry, that one there, and the, uh, the blue down in the other corner, direct opposite corner. Um, sorry, which one? Right there, bottom bottom right. Yeah, that one. I like that one. That, that's the uh, number 24 with FE. What was 24? Probably the red cabbage. I think so. I think that's what you said. Red with cabbage, iron. yeah. Yeah, with iron. Yep. Yeah, red cabbage with iron and red cabbage with copper. It is a bit blue, but it seems to work more dramatically with the iron. So, going back, Paula says hers is the giant blob. What's that big, giant, the biggest one? What is that one? Yeah. That's Africa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is, did I not label that? Oh. Right above it. Edge. Right above it, you wrote something. Twelve. Twelve? Red onion. That's what it was. Oh. You see this color here? Same color. Same part of it. It's red. And it's red there. But here, it's definitely greeny brown. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it's, fabulous. It's, bird, it's uh, pigeon poop. Oh, sorry. It's um. It's Africa. <laughs> who who was it? I was watching anyway. Somebody was talking about it. It oh, it was in in uh, Patricia Monroe. It was talking about diaper poo, telling Josh about it. Diaper poo, oh, the color of diaper poo. Mm -hmm. Maybe not that quite. 
<coughs> so, uh, so far, adding alum has done nothing. But, <coughs> sorry, don't forget that alum is a mordant to help fix colour. So it may be that one little bit of this colour somewhere, a couple of little bits where I put the alum, a little bit there and a little bit here somewhere, will forever stay the same colour and all the rest of it will fade. Maybe. And then again, maybe not. So the Uda tannin has... ones stay a while. Uda has a question. Will you date and place the samples in light and shade to test colour fastness? I is Since you're not working on cloth or fabric although paper is a fiber. Um, well, yeah. I do know that some things are not light fast and some things are more light fast. But I think it, there's so many variables about it. There's <clears throat> what plant material you used in the first place. There's whether you added a mordant. There's uh, what kind of paper you were using. There's where it's going to be positioned. <coughs> Sorry. Hang on a sec. Hang on a minute. Okay. And there's our rain. We need the rain. And there he is. No lightning. Bummer. Well, you know you can go on the Weather Channel or or there's a the UW has a meteorological channel <laughs> that and they will show you where lightning strikes are. Oh, I so. No, no. What I'm saying is it would show you if there were any in this area. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> Someone tell me, just because you have thumb thunder, is it, is it, of course, you're going to have lightning? She probably went off to ask Ian to do that, Paula. I, I don't think it's that. I think it's that you can have thunder, uh, but the what's happening, the lightning may be somewhere else because you can hear thunder over quite a long, uh, a, a far area, uh, many miles away. And that's, what, that's why we count thunder to see <clears throat> from the sound we get. Or if we see the lightning, we count numbers to see how far away when we hear the thunder. But you don't always get both. <clears throat> I've often heard thunder and no lightning. Oh, no, see, Russ says you can't have thunder without lightning, and Mariah says the lightning is what causes the thunder. Yeah, but the lightning may be seen from somewhere else. You just might not oh, see it. Okay, yeah. That's... But you might. Right. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying about this stuff, what was I saying? Oh, about light fastness. Sorry. <laughs> One, a uh, couple of the books I've got on inks, where well, there are only a few, um, but a couple of the ones I have got, they say, don't worry about light fastness. Just enjoy the colors you get and the colors they change to, because these these colors will change over time, some of them, and some of them won't. It depends, like I said, on whether you've got um, iron sulfate in it, whether you've got uh, a mordant, whether you've used a mordant, you could um, brush a mordant on like um, someone saying if you use Simplocus and brush it on, you get a, uh, a tending towards orangey yellow. And if you then put <clears throat> another color on top that is not all that light fast, especially if you put a piece of Simplocus there and then a piece of the other color there, then you'll be able to see where the two meet you get a nice strong color and that stays for a while. But on one side or the other, where you've had less paint, less ink when you were brushing it on, one side will fade faster than the other, but that color in the middle will stay there. So, and then you've got other colors that will naturally change to another color over time. And 
as, as the guy was saying, why not just enjoy it? I don't think I'm going to bother with a light test. I'm not making art <clears throat> that I expect to hang in a gallery or to sell for thousands of pounds, and um, which should therefore remain and be more permanent. Uh, the world these days is is all about permanence, and you've got to have things that are light fast, and things have got to um, last for many years. I don't think that's quite right. I don't think it should. Some things will, and other things won't. Why not enjoy them now and watch what happens to them over time? If it fades, it fades. Tough. I think we should just enjoy it. And there you have it. Oh, no, I, I'm not bothered about light fastness. If you want to know about light fastness, you can do all that research if you like, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Basically, nah. <laughs> so, where's a hibiscus? I want a, a, a 13. I think I want a 13 or a... Leslie, I put Dana's channel in there for everyone because... I was already looking it up before you even said anything, but we were on the same page. Yes, oh. Eddie agrees with you. Enjoy it okay. now. Hi, Candy. That's 35. Oh, that's blackberry. Oh, by the way, I got some plants today. I got some lovely plants today. Beetroot. I'm going to say that four drops of rain does not suffice. No, <laughs> but at least you haven't disappeared on us, dear. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, save my water bill if I don't have to go out and water cherry trees and blueberry plants and and very true plants. So, so yeah. Um, from Lisa, field note quote from Frankie. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> field note quote from Frankie. Just enjoy it. You do you. Where's 28? 28. There we are. There's the hibiscus. I wanted to have a go with that. So this one is lac extract. There's very little of it. Right, Uda. Oh, it's no. it's kind of like chalk drawing and sand art. It's like jelly. I need to add some water to that. Well, we were we were we were still talking about light fast fastness and don't worry about it, just enjoy the art. Yeah. Chalk drawing and sand art. Here today, gone tomorrow. But if you get I mean, when I'm talking about um natural and organic inks, that's um the organic are obviously the ones that grow from living sources. But you can have natural inks that are well, not anymore. If you're using things like ochre, uh, yellow ochre, red ochre, you could even get a purpley ochre. Using those, you've got something that uh, might be a little bit more permanent. Do you remember the caves in France? I can't remember their names. Where there were um, cave paintings and the images of hands that had been held against the wall and then the paint sprayed down, or was that um, Australia? Could have been, could have been both. So I'm using a bit of this lac extract here. Let's we'll see what happens with this. And then I wondered uh, how true is it what I read, and I think I mentioned this to you before, that if, if you going organic if it's above ground it's if it's from something above ground it's an ink if it's something that you got from below ground as in taking well, root and making a uh, product then it's called a dye right okay if you say so well it came out of that book but um, you can you can make you can make ink with both you can make ink with ochres ground from rocks so yeah i thought it anything's possible i thought it came out of nick's book what i what could I be could be yeah. yeah so we've got a few little blubbies here let's let's write down what it is before we go any further add a girl so this has no number
because I haven't put one on yet because I've not finished the previous ones. So, a little bit of copper, a little bit of copper. A little bit of copper in this one. Hmm, don't know. Is that doing anything or isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I, can't. I think it is. I think it is. Have I gone blind? <laughs> I don't see anything. See, sorry, it's just off the edge here. Oh, here. oh, look at that. Look at that. That went purple quite fast. That was adding the copper. Copper to lack gives you purple. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, I'll do it again. It was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. Tiny bit of copper. Right in there. So this this is the lack? Lack extract, yes. Look at it go. Just like that. Well just like that. Okay. And let's have a little bit of the tother thing. Also want to try hibiscus and I'm running out of room. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, room to do it and room to write. You can't see it. Oh, it hold hold the phone. You can't see it, Evie. She's doing it again. It's right down there at the um eye on that one. Screen. I could see it on. I could see it on YouTube. There, see. So this is with copper on these two. And this is plus FE. Iron. Okay. Iron. That's not really moving as quickly as the uh, copper one. I'm just mixing it in a bit. That's more sort of purpley. That's that, interesting. Yeah. That's red. That's sort of lilac-y and that sort of maroony. Interesting. Great. Of course, this is all with just the pure colour. I haven't added any vinegar or baking soda or um, sodium carbonate to any of these. These are all the pure inks with nothing else added. So I think I should label that pure inks at the top, but I just want to see if I can get a little bit of this one in a little tiny gap. This is the hibiscus, the one that went, oh, no. This is the one that went nuts. So if we got the hibiscus that didn't okay, go Okay, Uda, thank you for being here. You know, when, when I watch, I watch Bethy a lot. I mean, I always have her on when she comes on. She does this thing where we play... Uh, blots just watercolor blots and then it's like what do you see what do you see we see animals and stuff so well, that's what we did last time yeah i'm looking at all of these yeah it's like right over there to the left is a duck looking backwards at a feather that fell off and there's africa and there's africa <laughs> yeah you're off camera whatever you're doing you're, I'm just adding the ink. It's all right. We'll get to it okay, in a minute. All right. Just making sure. I'm trying to avoid putting it um, in the strange creature up there. Okay, Mariah. Yeah, Twenty thank seven. you, everyone. It, this isn't this isn't to everyone's taste, but we're enjoying it. So we appreciate that you're here. The thumbs up. Oh, and... I do. Did Mariah say she was going? Because I've got something to show her. She's got to take a phone call. Okay, we should so... come back. She'll, she'll be back as soon as she can, I think. So okay. So got to take a phone call. She's on work time. So that's quite juicy looking, isn't it? That's the 27 hibiscus. Let's label it. And let's add a little bit of iron. Let's make a little 
<laughs> Hi, Carla. And Carla Shall says, I... now, Fran, throw your head back and laugh maniacally. <laughs> <laughs> well, like witchy. Ian keeps threatening to make me a hat. <laughs> and actually, I've got a, a, a little um, metal um, funnel about the, only about this size. Yeah. And he said, there's your hat. <laughs> <laughs> funny guy, funny guy. Ian needs to make you a gin and tonic, not a hat. <laughs> so I'm mixing it with these bits. Uh, nothing seems to have particularly happened to that one. Might be a little bit darker, but it's it not is, a lot. Abby says that red is gorgeous. I agree. I like that one and the, and the cranberry mix over there. That's the plain hibiscus. I love that. But it, it dries to this sort of purpley color. But there's still some hints of red in it. Uh, 27. And I love hibiscus tea. Yeah, well, it's made from hibiscus tea. So let's add a little bit of this. Ooh. I don't want too much. I darkened it a little bit. Well, I don't know. Was that just mixing it together? It might have. It might not. Looks like plasma. Looks like plasma to me. Well, I don't know. It doesn't seem to have had a great deal of effect on anything. It's funny how some you put the copper in and it goes green and then brown. And another one you put the copper in and it goes, uh, what do you do that for? I didn't want that. I'm not having anything to do with that. I don't care. <laughs> Done it. That's a <laughs> dafty lot. So that's with Effie. Let me write that down. Plus. F E. So I can actually get to it. Hibiscus. Oh, the tea is really good if I can find it. I like um I like to find teas that haven't been bleached. Uh -huh. But Your teas get bleached? Yeah. Why? It's part of the the process of process. When we lived in South Carolina, we lived not far. If you've ever heard of Bigelow tea. No. Nope. The farm is in, well, it's a U.S. tea. And anybody yeah. that likes tea here would know Bigelow tea. Um, the farm is in South Carolina. And it wasn't far from where we lived. I always wanted to do a tour and we never did. Um and that's when I learned about companies that run their, when they process the tea leaves, they run it through a bleach bath. And not all of them do it, but some of the ones like Bigelow and Lipton and whatnot, they do that. And I was... Run, sorry, run it through a what bath? A bath of bleach. Bleach? Oh, my God. Yeah, well, no, a lot of foods you'll find have... Uh, been through a bleach bath of it, some sort. It does not sound good, does it? Well, it's part of the process in, in mm. this company. Yes. Well, I don't like the sound of it. A Bigelow tea. I love Bigelow tea, but I just I just got to where oh, okay, I don't because I drink a lot. I mean, mm. I that's a, I drink it all day, and they do a, a bleach bath. Hmm. The other tea well, I like. Um, my favorite is Red Rose. Got to talk to a nutritionist the other day. Yeah. The day before yesterday, I think it was. And um, okay, Carla. She okay. said I have to stop the tea completely. I can I can have the decaf, but I've got to stop the normal tea. I've got to cut it out completely because it just irritates your insides. If you uh, ever had a, a relative who did not approve of tea. Uh, back in the who knows how long ago, maybe a grandpa, somebody like that. And they said, oh, you're not maudling your insides with tea. Turns out they were right. Well, hmm. yeah. 
<laughs> I, I, I survive on tea. But I don't add sugars or milk or anything like that. I drink it. Yeah, we have a different, I think we have a different kind of tea here because I could not take my tea without milk. But um, I can take things like hibiscus tea and stuff like that without milk. I wouldn't want to put milk in it. Right. But our tea is you, you, you talk as if you take your tea when it's gone cold. Um, we do both. Yeah. I start the, out with a hot cup of tea. By the time I'm down to the bottom, it's usually cold, like yours. Yeah, yeah but it's not supposed to be like that. Um, but um, don't you also have iced tea? Yes. Uh, in the south, don't they? Yeah, but there they they sweeten it like wow. It's when we oh. lived down there, we always had to be sure to ask for unsweetened iced tea, no sugar whatsoever. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then there's, there's people in, in other countries, um, the eastern countries, I can't remember which one that's got up my head, where you could get Turkish, in Turkey, where you could get Turkish coffee that was so dense it was like a syrup. Oh, yeah. Um, um, was, was it your family that introduced you to Greek coffee? His ex brother in law introduced him to Greek coffee, and it was like it was like pouring mud. Oh uh -huh, yeah. Of course, Russ loved it, but mm. yeah. <laughs> well, it was like a syrup, I guess. Now I'm gonna put some of these away. It, and I was just—that's where my brain was going, Paula. Is it the tannin that is causing that issue? And. Um, like I said, in the U.S., the, the part of the processing, we have to process everything in this country. It's just ridiculous. I think it's overprocessed, but it's got to live on the shelf until we purchase it. So, yeah, there is that. 26. But I 26. wonder if that bleach process has any effect on that tannin or whatever else. Could do, yeah. But I live on tea, whether it's hot or I start out with hot, it goes cold, you know, while we're mm -hmm. sitting here. I sit right on top of the air conditioner vent. Well, this is my test sheet. Now, <laughs> we've got to. <clears throat> and I think right. that we'd better leave it there. And I will be putting these away. And Sharon from Texture Junkies introduced me to kava tea, which I had never heard of before. And she sent me some, and I love it. But I don't like chai. You don't like chai? Ooh. What's chai, then? I don't know what it's all made of, but I don't like it. Hmm. It's an odd taste to me. Let me look it up. It's a blend of black tea, herbs, and spices originating in India. And it's supposed to be good for you, and I'm sure it is. Spices like cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, ginger, and black peppercorns. Might be the cardamom I don't like. Maybe I don't much. I I don't mind eating cardamoms when I've had a curry and there's a bit of cardamom pods there. I don't mind eating them then, but I would not like it in a tea. I really wouldn't. <clears throat> and I don't like um, coriander either. But I love no, the. I um, hate coriander. I love the powder from it because you put it in. Uh, yeah. Pizza. Yeah. I have the powder. It's the leaf. Yeah. <coughs> Just cannot take the leaf. The coriander seed is what, because I, I grew some, and it's like, no, I don't like the seed. No. Oh, I thought that the seed is from, the powder is from the seed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. <coughs> I have to remember but that, the treatment. maybe I'll try it again, because... As I get older, my tastes are changing. I'll actually eat a Brussels sprout now. 
and I really never cared for them. But I like them now. Something changed on your on your colors up there. The one at the right of Africa. Or is it just the way the light's hitting it? That one? Yeah. yeah. I think it's just the way the light's hitting it. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it was just the light. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it looks uh aquamarine or teal or something. That's it. Hmm. <clears throat> well, it's still got some granules of copper sulfate in it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to go and visit the little girl's room. All right. Okay, well, we'll come back and I'll, I'll uh, you want me to show something or do something? Yeah, yeah, if you can. Yeah. Okay, you go away. And then I'll have something like I can show Mariah when I've cleaned all this up. Okay. Okay. All right. Good, good. Okay. Yeah. I was just working on another, the light's not very good in here because it's getting dark outside. I was just working on another seahorse, a pinkish, peaches one. So I've got this one done and I'm working on this one. I'm at, at the point where this is the nose and I have to come around and do this part and the belly then, then it's done again. And that's all I've been doing besides cleaning and cooking and sleeping. Not much going on. Hi, Darcy. Well, I thought you left, but welcome back or not. I had to rewrite the pattern a little bit down here where it got in this area. Let me see. So if you remember... This is the first one I made, and we didn't like the length of that tail, so I shortened it, and then I didn't like the way the head connected, so I adjusted that, and then, and finished it up. Now I want to see it done in, in uh, peach or pink or whatever color you want to call it. And when I finished with this, I found a seahorse crochet that I'll probably make. And then I found a seashell, a spirally seashell that's crocheted. I don't think it's as nice as tatting, but I'm going to do it anyway. Aren't those pretty? It's a dying art, if you ask me. And I still have to get out my bobbin making pillow and get back to that. I don't know what to talk to you guys about when she's not here. I'm at a loss. Oh, she's back. Yay. I saw your hands. I know you're still muted, just so you know. Thank you, everyone. I do too, Candy. I, I pulled that color out of my uh, stash and I went that I think it will be perfect for that one. I have some. Uh, let me show you. I have some of this color, but I don't think I have enough to do a whole seahorse. Isn't that pretty? Purples and blues. I just don't think there's I'm going to try it, but I don't think there's enough to do an entire seahorse. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'm clearing things. Don't look at you. Are you there? Yep, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, have you been showing people things? I have. Why are we back on me? Because you're the boss. I'm not ready. <laughs> I've okay. got to move this out of the way. Just All a right. second. Okay. Okay. How's that? Make you feel better, Tracy? I'd me. love to see that. Um, I would love to see whatever. Was it tattered or sewn or, or uh, 
applique. And you know, I was watching, come to think of it, I was what, yeah, I know, I love Sue Sparkle, Paula. I was watching P yesterday with the uh, flowers again. And the more I watched her, the more I kept thinking applique, applique. She's making applique with paper. It's like. Ricky, once you figure out the um, the schematics, once you figure out how each of these stitches works, it's just a matter of draw something out and follow the outline and put your, you know. And there's a, a technique where you're adding along and you have to turn the work so you can make this arch. Otherwise, if you continued with it this way, the arch would be there'd be a battle. It's hard to explain. Can you see how this loops down? If I had not turned the work there, it would have been the other way. It would have looped the other way. Anyway, that's more than you need to know. But yeah, if you want to learn the technique of how it's all made, you can, it's easy to come up with your own designs. And I really want to curl this tail up and put a little loop right there to where they're connected so it stays connected. And I keep forgetting to do that. I already did this one, so I can't go back and do it. But next one. It's just like what Fran does. She starts out with something like her stencils, and as she goes along, she sees where it needs to be edited and altered. And that's what I see when I that's why I did this one. I, even though I knew I was doing it wrong, I continued on with doing it just to finish it. And then I can go back and see where they, where I would make the changes. Yeah, she needs to pull up her knickers faster. Yeah. Are you ready, that woman? She's almost there. I can see her. You can't, but I can. Okay. Okay, just let me clear my throat. We're almost ready, everyone. Thank you for hanging out with us, for sticking around. Here we go. There we go. And we have our, we have our looping. Come over here and we have our, that away. Oh yeah. I could, yes, Candy. I can do whatever I want, it's mine. And I do have some thin wire. Woo, I'm back. I just can't stop. Right. Oh, that's a good idea. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Because I I don't have any room left here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right out. You're on. I have a little something. You do, don't I have you? A, you? This is looking quite good now. Yeah. So I also get the, this is the previous one that wasn't quite there. You can see there are some bits missing here. And what I've done is I've uh, got this back in here. I've uh, done a little bit more here and disconnected some places so that they stay together better. Did the same with the hat. And I think that's working quite well now. So we'll have a test of this one. But we also get, I can always put two on with that one as well. 
the exterior as well. Did you actually go thicker with the lines? I did, yes. You can see from the previous one, a little, this thing. <laughs> it's quite a bit thicker than that. Yeah, I guess it is. Quite a bit. I mean, if we need to go thicker, we might have to do something else. I would say even meantime, thicker, but if you go thicker, you're either he either he gets smaller or the or he gets bigger. Target. Yeah, if he gets bigger, you don't need to make his lines thicker because they will be anyway. If you see what I mean? So we've got. I can't remember which one this one is for. Is it that one? Yep, it's that one. So we've got two. That are working quite nicely. You can always use other things with him. Sorry. There you go. Nudge it a bit. Yeah, you're all right. So I just before we start with this, I just wanted to show you that I've also got pink chestnut. Oh. Worked out much better than I expected. I thought I wasn't going to get anything out of it. It was so pale, but I did. Yeah. And then I went out to the wood nearby and I got myself some Alexander's. Just quite a nice pale. What is Alexander's? It's a, a stuff that used to be um, a food stuff. Well, it still is edible. Uh, uh, preceded celery before we had celery in this country. The Romans used to eat it, but more often they fed it to their cat, uh, horses and cattle. Uh, it was called horse celery. Hmm. Who knew? But um, th th this is quite pale, so I might put it back in and give it another cook down to get it down. I've got another big jar with it as well. And I've also got purple rhododendron. That is so pale, though. I mean, it's it's almost not there. So I, I'll probably need to redo that. But I said before that I would try it with um, pouring boiling water over the flowers and see what that did. But you can see that, I mean, I put a couple of layers on there and it's still pretty pale, but it comes green. But I think we need to sort of reduce that a bit more. So that's enough of the dyes and inks. Let's get on to something a little bit faster. Let me throw that away before I start wiping my hands on it. It's got all those chem chemicals in it. And let's do a little bit of playing. So we've got those to come. Right. Now, this is the big pool, the one that I added. Uh, I had a, a green and a, a blue and a yellow together, and it went a bit muddy. But... Okay, hold on. I want you to pull your camera back because you've got the big plate and I want to see it all. There you go. Yeah, you're off. You're, you've got yourself scrunched today. You're off the table. Oh, we lost her. Hold the phone. She'll be back. She hit something. What happened? Oh, I was just adjusting the camera, and it just suddenly decided that I was going to be thrown out. Well, I think I've got it about as good as I can. There you go. All right. So this is, yummy. This is the – you can see how we've got an almost goose poop green. So tough. But we've got some quite nice definition. Yeah, I like it. Elementals. That's the sower. You can see the seeds falling. She's got her basket. Very nice. This fire elemental, I would go around that with some reds. There's a sword. There's a torch. And this is the water carrier. Or is that the water carrier? Yeah, this mm -hmm. is the water carrier. This is the reaper, because I can see his sword here and his, um, his uh, sheaths of corn that he's reaping. So this is the water carrier. There's the bucket. Uh, this is backwards because I turned it over. So we've got the um, jug she's pouring out of there and pouring it into the pools of water. So that worked quite nicely. 
We've got some lovely colours here with the purples and some nice brighter yellows. I think it's a question of the type of yellow used. Don't see the type. Uh, type of blue. Sorry. <clears throat> Yep. So go. that's got quite a nice piece of um, drawing watercolour paper. So that's quite nice. So we've now got two more. We've got this one. Mm -hmm. And we've got this one. Okay. Just let me take a little sneak preview. Oh, they're both so nice. I can't decide which one. Let's hope they come out, though. Let's see. This is nice. Whoa. <laughs> oh wow okay. now we see the fire elemental in the right oh, color yeah. <laughs> don't we just and there's the water carrier we've even got bits of blue for her nice Can and the you... reaper tracy says oh. that so reminds me of blue and yellow french tool tool i love that print I'm, yeah. look, I'm thinking wallpaper. I'm thinking medieval castle wallpaper. <laughs> is it pronounced twal? Twal? Or is it pronounced tool? Who knows? Twal? Yeah, okay. it is kind of medieval, isn't it? Yes, because it's got the sort of grain of the paper here. Yeah, and the but it's not just, it's the characters also. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Your, Not bad. Your stencils. That's what that is, what isn't just the it's the whole thing and your stencils. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Well, let's have a look at the next one. I, agree. I, I says like water. this one. I agree. Next one looked quite good too. I couldn't decide which one to move where. Now this plate has a dent in it. That's because there was a bit of damage to the case. I got it cheaper because of that. Not much cheaper, but it keeps coming back. So I might turn it over the other way and deal with it that way. But anyway, there we go. That's one of the newer plates. I think this is another one of the new plates. Let's see what we get here. Uh oh, there's a piece oh, of first one. Oh, she was talking about the first one. Oh, right, that one. The big this, one, yeah. This did not pull. I see that. I don't know that it's all that bothersome, though. I mean, it's I can't really... It's not enough to, to be noticeable on the paper. Let's try pulling from the other side anyway. It might be easier. How's that? Oh, nice. That's not bad at all, is it? They've got some nice colour in that. That's a raging storm in hell. It is. It certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Wow. It was a few days ago, so I can't remember the exact colours. Colours, yeah, exactly. But, oh, what colours? Weren't they nice? We've got some uh, reflection from, was it um, an iridescent? Blue, oh, the um, interference blue. I think possibly. I love that. I do like the rain cloud above the water elementals' head, working quite well there. Now these are from the. I think they're from the um, the bigger piece because I cut this one in one, so it was from a. Right. Stencil like this. So these these stencils and the plague doctor are not in uh, PMI Studio Shop. No, I'm testing not them yet. out. France like for instance, look at this. 
there's a lot here and I don't think it's necessary and I don't think all this is necessary. I only kept a few of those and with the sewer, I got rid of most of these and I didn't keep any of those but a few to show that she was sewing. I mean, I started out with that one because it was direct from the um, the Nautilus. Yes. And you can see the reflection of the Nautilus in this but we don't need it in the final one. So in this one, there's less of it, you see. There's only these pieces to show she was sewing and her dress and the seeds in the basket. That's all. Cut everything else out. And similarly with the Reaper, you haven't got all of this. You've only got a, a few. And um, you've only got a few bits here that have been cut. A couple of those. Those three, I think. Well, and uh, I way the sort of shine around his head because I didn't think that was appropriate. You could leave all that in as you and, could. I mean we've got that there. And, and um, we had fire behind the uh, fire elemental. But um, I didn't really want that there so I took that away as well. <clears throat> and on that. this one we, we use these another copy of these but um, there wasn't room for all four to be printing so well, so I only used three of them on this one. But I think it's worked really rather well. Yeah, these are from uh, the May 26th video. All right. May okay. 26th stream, you did these. So this is from Friday. Is that Friday? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So 31st Friday, today. Thinking. You, you created those on Friday Thoughts and Thinking. Mm, right. Well, there we are. I think these two are one of the best prints I've done in a long time because I really like the mix of these colors. Yeah, she's, um, they will go into the shop. Um, they, just but, as soon as I finish fiddling with them. I want yeah, a, a little fiddly yep. bit. Just the same as bit. the... Uh, um, then only there. This one is here, so we can have a go with him. Okay. And do both, you see. Mm -hmm. That we can do one one way and one the other. And if I'm gonna do that, I would like to cut it a little more. So you know like too much white space. Right. So mysterious uh colors. Mysterious colours. Well, it's the plague, isn't it? Oh, possibly. But he's a doctor, he's the good guy. He doesn't look yeah, all that good. You, but you don't want pastels and sunshiny and all that with a, a well, face like no, that. Well, no, probably not. Not with that face. <laughs> no. No. So let's trim a bit off here so we've got a bit more room on the plate. Oh, Tracy says she just, um, she says, beautiful Prince Fran. I just received uh, her marine life and sponge. Love them. Oh. Sponge skin. Yeah, that's a that's a fun one to do. Yep. I do like that one. That was the one we had been calling caustic, right? Yeah. No. No? Sponge, no, sponge skin was spots and blobs. Spots and blobs. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Yeah, course, that's I one of my favorite so brands. There we are. So we'll have a go with this, shall we? Yes, let's. I could always put him on there. There's there's just a couple of bits that didn't quite come out. Yeah, I was going to say, I noticed his pocket didn't show up, as, but it's just no, because it he didn't weed it very well. Okay. Yeah. I, I knew what I needed to do to it, so I didn't need to bother. Yep. But um, now that there's a possibility I may use it, well, we may. <clears throat> All right. I I'm going to remove the black paper because I'm going to need that paper. And let's have a go. Let's have a go with um, some, as you say, some darkish colours. So we've got um, black. Have we got uh, the birds having a hissy fit? Look at them all. My goodness, the storm. Paint. We've got to paint grey. like a ton of sparrows or whatever out there. Fighting. Yeah. Yeah. What's that one? 
Alizarin Crimson. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have a go with Payne's Grey, Alizarin Crimson, and Transparent Yellow Iron Oxide. Let's see what happens. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so I'm going to start with Payne's Grey. I'm not going to leave those there, though. Oh, you're going to love it, Candy. Sorry? The, 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 the sponge skin stencil. Yeah. What about it's, it? She says she's waiting on her order. It's going to be felt so much fun to use. Oh, yeah. She ordered yeah, it. Yeah, you, you, you will like that one. I see that one being used with a um, as a layer with something else, some other stencil that's yeah, totally it's different. Yeah, certainly good. Got to break in these new plates anyway. Yeah. Oh, you got a streak. You got. It's from the edge of the brayer, that's all. Oh, I see. That's why when I go really soft, you don't see it. So just just as a thought, imagine candy that you took um, and did this one, the doctor, the plague doctor, and you did a pull, and then you came back and did a layer, layered pull using the uh, sponge skin over top of him. I think it was yeah, cool. that would yes. be really yes, yeah. Elizabeth St. Hilaire's layering technique. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. A number of a, a number of Fran stencils are great for her layering technique, especially now that she has the um, the sponge skin and the caustic one. The caustic one yeah. is great for that. I have another one I'm thinking of um, perhaps using. I haven't turned it into a stencil yet, then I don't know where it's gone. So I will so I'll stop talking about it. <laughs> and, and well, also if you if you go to makers. Um, yeah, with bat wings, he's the plague doctor. Um, if you go to Makers, you'll see Mar I think Mariah posted the the uh, Franken stencil, whatever what did she call it that uh, P was working with. It's, she showed a picture of it. I think she said it was in the shop. That's another one that would be great for Saint Hilaire's layering technique. I don't know which one that was. I, I must have missed that bit. I. I not been catching up very well with them lately. I mean, come in in the middle, see Josh there and think, who's that bloke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and Eddie were yeah, flirting. <laughs> well, we were having a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, you were flirting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Ian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I highly think that uh, Telchester and Boston probably not an issue there. <laughs> <laughs> the Polynesian one. Well, no, not the Polynesian one. I have to. I'd have to go look. Let me. Um. Oh, let's see. Transparent yellow iron oxide. Let's go and find it. Maybe I maybe I'm lost my mind. Uh, well, I'll be darned. Hmm? What? 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 I can't find the Nicolazo. Oh, uh, the um, transparent yellow iron oxide. I can find Nicolazo yellow and correct down. Nicolazo gold in this, but that's the high uh, fluid acrylic. So I'm going to use the quinacridone. Okay, not the new it's one. I've got to work on that one. Um, what Mariah posted is exclusive to members. Is in the shop the Peace Circle Rings of Madness Franken stencil. Oh. So it's for it's exclusive for the members. It's gorgeous, though. I mean, was it in one of the lives? Yeah, I thought she I thought she just used it. Ah, right. Well, it'll be in here, the one with Josh. I thought she was doing the flowers in that. 
Okay, maybe I'm thinking of Yeah, it's one where she rearranged the sections. Uh-huh. Abby says she has bras older than Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Good to know, Abby. <laughs> Do you need help there? <laughs> um, yeah, it's the Circle Rings of Madness, Frankenstencil. That's a pretty cool one. I think it was a while oh, back that she used it. I, I don't remember if it was yesterday. I just know I saw Mariah post it earlier today. But it would be great for the for uh, the layering technique. Oh, that's not bad. It's a bit spotty, but it's not bad at all. I quite like that. I've got some remnants from other things going on. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah. And I don't yeah. mind the splotchy. I like the 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 yeah the splotchy. Yeah, like well, I've got another one like that, but I'm going to get some more paper, which I've got on the chair behind me. Uh, I've got some down here as well. What is that? Uh, and I've just got to reach over to the chair. Oh, okay, don't, don't pull your headphones out. Put some... Well, she's gone away. She's over there. Small so I've got a wadge of tissue there. Got another one out. I want to do a couple more things. There's two at least. There we go. Right, we'll get rid of that because that's printed and we'll have some more of that. So that was the Nicolais Oyo, was it? No. Uh, hmm? What was it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did I put it? I put it somewhere oh. funny. Maybe it's a replay and I didn't realize it, Candy. Maybe it let me go back and look. Well, that's transparent yellow on outside, and that one's not been used, so I've got to take the paper off. And then I've got to take the skin off. Don't you hate it when that happens? This is the one I'm I'm thinking of. Let me. Huh? I'm going to make a post. Send a send a link to the. That's the one I'm thinking of. I think I got it, right? I don't know. I can't see anything. You can't see. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Um, <laughs> not to be rude, but I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I need a bit more on that one. Suddenly, see, there's, it's only when you start printing with it you realize that's a bit weak there. I've got to make a bit more of it. Ah, there you go, Candy. Okay, Paula. Paula has to go. Oh, bye, Paula. Thank you for being I'm here. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, I was hoping you'd go something darker, maybe even blue. Well, that's the alizarin crimson hue again. Yeah. Because I like the combination of it with these lighter yellows, like the 
Nicolazo Yellow, the Raw Sienna, the Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold, which I haven't opened yet, which I should, and the Transparent Yellow Iron Oxide, which is what I've used this time. So I'll open this one. And I really like when you throw a blue in there. Of course, you've got, you're working on a small plate, so we have to remember all this paint. Yeah, yeah, you've got to be a bit more sparing. Yeah, you're not on the giant plate. Um, but mm -hmm. I like to throw a little bit of blue in there. Giant one. I can't get this damn thing open now. I'll have to leave that for a minute. Sure, um, Right, while that's on there, I can keep sort of prodding it and try and get this silly little lid off. I'm going to give you 15 more minutes and then I'm cutting you off. Oh. I'm going to have to stab this and get in there somehow. You need a needle. I always have a needle handy. I need my old um, tough scalpel. That would have done it in one go. But I can't find it. I haven't found it for the last few days. I don't know where it's gone. It's the one I pinched off in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. That's usable now. I just want to wipe this before my scissors get gooey. That's better. Right. This is not going to print very well, I can see, because it's been sitting there and it'll leave marks. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not going to print nicely at all, is it? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's melded into a more or less a single colour, rather like the burnt avocado in the inks. <laughs> uh, it will be nice when I can figure out how to make them thicker and make them still strong and turn them into paints that would be so much fun but i'm going to need more supplies to do that i think well i'll cut that one off because that's much better than i expected <laughs> much better all right very much better you've practically got another person inside with the shadowing inside the mask look there's his face it's quite a chubby fella <laughs> You need to you need to put some more color. You need to do layering on that. You need to put some more color somewhere, even if yeah. it's even if it's uh, deliberate. Yeah. Well, I can put him in there, you know, and get a bit more color, get more definition that way. Well, yeah. There you go. I don't know if that will work very well. Well, keep in mind, underneath there's nothing, so it's going to be whatever paint goes over the top is all you're going to get. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, indeed. And which is okay. Right, let's see what we can get then. So I think I want a bit more of the paint's grey this time. And I'm thinking, uh, I'm still thinking, in my mind. mind, I'm not playing with these, so I can't say for sure, but... When you have such fine detail on those, it's probably the best way to get that to come up is with tissue paper. Possibly, yeah, but that last thing worked on that paper. Oh, yeah, that, it that did. Worked it really rather well. And the elements, the elementals, um, yeah, too. Yeah, true. Yep. Well, I'm going to have a go with these. We've got a lot on there already. So. Gentle well, I'm not going to have much of this one. 
get two pulls off of it if you do it right. Oh, wow. There you you wanted more color? You get it. <laughs> <laughs> so there. <laughs> yeah. Beware what you ask for. You might get it. Well, I always say that. Watch what you wish for. I think there's a pea super going on in London town. That's what we've got. We've got a pea it's super, and there are well, fumes everywhere. Which is apt for him. Yeah, exactly. So we want a tissue, do we? Well, let's try a bit of um, a quick bit of this. A kiss. Just Very it. quick, because yeah. you can't leave that on long because it's rice paper. Not too bad. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice, quick. I know. I think we need a bit of um, something a bit more fiery or at least a bit more lighter, like a yellow. Well, if that stencil, if he's still wet, get your stencil and bring it back in and line it up. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> well, turn turn the plate over and put the plate down on the pole. Well, no, I quite like that one as it is, actually. I'm going to leave it as is, and we'll go on to another another load of colours. So I still want some paint gray, but not quite so much this time. And you wanted, you said you wanted more fiery colour. Yeah. So I'm only putting a tiny bit of the paint gray on. Well, I call that tiny. For me, it's tiny. <laughs> okay. Uh, fiery color. Fiery color. <laughs> um. That's not very fiery. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We have fun. We appreciate we'll you. Have a bit on. of that. Yeah, hope you're enjoying it because I'm having a load of fun. Mm -hmm. I'll give you 10 more minutes. I'm put a bit of this on. Let me just shake it up. She's mean to me. I'm having fun now. Well, you can continue to have fun. It's just you, the rest of the world won't see it. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't. I prefer doing it when you're there. Well, I didn't and you can tell I'm... me off things. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that. What did you throw down there? Quinacridone magenta and Payne's grey. A lot of it. Ooh. Yeah, so um, I think I'll do a quickie with that other piece of rice paper. Yeah, quickie. You, if I were doing a kiss, I wouldn't put my hands on it like that. I would just lay the paper and pull it back up. Well, I think that's not bad. Oh, that's nice. Oh, where'd you get that crease in there? That one? No idea. Yeah, it goes right through his nose. How'd that That's happen? just, uh, um, I don't know. Just the way the paper Never mind, it. you can always sort of, yeah. Well, it's it's where that particular color went, I think. Yeah. But never mind, never mind. Oh, yeah, Candy says that one doctor looked like he'd been hit with radioactive green slime. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yep. Well, I, I, yeah, I went back to look candy. I agree. Right, better that one. But not lots. What is this one? Teal. Don't want a lot of that. It's, it's back to where you're just throwing stuff down and seeing what sticks. When you're telling me I haven't got long, I've got to be quick. <laughs> mush, mush. Mush, mush, mush. I made a boo-boo a there. Get that one up before it spreads. There we go. Again, the colors. Wow. OK, 
Okay, Mariah's back. So you can do your pull and then you have something to show Mariah. Yep. I will. I will. Okay, Mariah, you hang up. in there. Mariah. <laughs> Oh, I missed the uh -oh. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. There you go. Yep, she's hanging. She's hanging. Shot bit off. That was me. Not too bad. Oh, you lost everything. Hey. What? Where? Well, I wanted to see more more of that fluorescent green and stuff still come up. Oh, okay. Some more of that. No problem. Right, I have it right here. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to wait and show Mariah? Nope. Too late. Mm -mm. And a little <laughs> bit of this. Oh my gosh. So. Okay, Candy. Thank you so much for being here and chatting well, with. Bye, Candy. She's got to go. You have to you have to wait and see what Fran's going to show Mariah. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm waiting. I'm hanging. I'm hanging. <laughs> well, probably won't work from now on, just because of that. London P Super is what we're looking at. Yeah. You because reckon? Fran hasn't even showed me whatever it is that she wants to show Mariah. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. I've been using it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Never mind. No. <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Probably not going to be big enough. Was it the plague doctor? No. Yeah. Was, yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah. it's this stencil specifically. Yeah. Stencil. So let's have a piece of this one. Well, I thought it was something. I thought you had something else. Okay. No, no. Uh, I mean, right. so, work. <clears throat> so just to be clear, Mariah, she wanted to show you her Plague Doctor stencils so far. Yeah, which I've been using. And so here we go. Here we go. This is before we take the stencils off. There we go. That's not bad. That's got some nice green miasma. Oh, that's nice, even on paper, Fran. <laughs> Pull it down a little bit. You're off. You're off camera. Sorry. Oh, there you go. <gasps> nice color paper. too. So Maybe that's one. What you want. Yeah, candy. I'm. Yeah, we're back in the loop. This is what mm. you wanted to show Mariah was these stencils. Yeah. Very nice. So I've been working on them. This is the one that's finished. This one is the one that was nearly finished. You can see there's not so much detail in the rod. Well, the detail is back in the rod there. But uh, we need to take these off if I'm not allowed to do any more. We need to take them off and put some nice um, Conacodon Nicolazo gold, red iron oxide, things like that on it. Yep, take them off. One last pull. Get a decent pull. That's the surround. Oh, that's right. That was a two-piecer. Yep. That was two pieces. Oh, look at that. Nice. That's the one that isn't quite finished. This one is the one that is finished. But they were they were they were so close that one I thought I could get away with using it. She says you have done some great work. It's finished because it's got more connections and it's got the rod and yeah. it's got uh, less flimsiness to it. It's more sturdy. I do need to add a little bit more down here and uh, then I think it's done. I'm quite happy with it then. It showed up quite well on that last pull there. Yeah, yeah, some good detail. So I'm just going to whiz over this with my heater, very lightly. And I'll use some of this, I think. Yeah, this is this color copy paper. I want you to use some of this, this color copy paper, which is, um, does it say what Dudara is? Come on. Got to turn it around to find it. Oh, it's 200 GSM. It's 200 GSM. So it's heavy. And Mariah so it's loud says, for you, so I'm turning it off. Mariah says nice. Good with the stencils. So it's just that, that storm is just pretty much missing us.
it shouldn't be too wet. You you pulled up most everything. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use Quinacridone Nicolaser Gold. I'm going to use... <laughs> it's gone. Come on, where are you? Pour you... Transparent red iron oxide. Okay. Hang on. Pull my what? Well, I was going to say, I thought maybe it was above underneath that paper there. But no. Uh, no. no, you found it. I got it. I got it. I put them all away the last time in the trolley. Sometimes that's a good idea. Sometimes I can't find them and they're right there. Uh, Quinecodone Nicolaso. And a little bit, I know this is a lot, but a little bit of the Nicolaso yellow. This is how we measure it out. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Plop, 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 plop. I'm loving it already. Will we get it to pull today or do we have to wait? We might have to wait. Yeah. We might have to wait. Okay, well, so Trish, thank you for being here. Do me a favor, will you? I got <laughs> I'm sending hugs. Trish and Evie hug each other from me. Ha <laughs> ha. That looks oh, quite God. good. Looks very good. I like the, the definition you did well with the and it almost looks as though this chap's got his watch chain on his hat the way I wear mine. <laughs> Good. So we've got some nice prints, I think. Not too bad. Where's the first one, the big one? Oh, the one from the other. I think the, the first one the, and the second one were my favorite. Now that was just a that was just like a pull off. Oh, I, I like that one. And then one of the first of the two together. Yeah, that's got quite a bit of definition yeah. in it. That is definitely it a piece of that one. I'm yep. really surprised how much you got out of that on the paper, not just the tissue paper, but the, there it is. Yeah, that's that's an intriguing combination. That one. Really does look quite good with these elementals. The this one, the fire one, the sower, the reaper with his scythe, and the water carrier. Now, don't you have another pull? I have two. Two more. Okay, there they this are. This one, yes. Which is rather exciting, I think. And then I like this one better. This is. Fire and flames. Oh yeah, total war. <laughs> I do like these two. These two are some of my favourite ones, actually. These two. Well, I would excuse my language. Hellfire and damnation. Yeah, that's what it looks <laughs> I like. <would> call them. <laughs> wow, beautiful. I love them both. They turned out quite well. It's going to suit the the elementals very much. I must be. I must. You be wait till I get onto the earth ones. Yeah, <laughs> I must be having mad moments because I'm loving the fiery ones. Yeah, I am liking them too. It's it's the little hint of darkness in there. It's either a blue, and on this one I think it's a green, and it's working really well. I have to look back at exactly what I yep. used on these. I didn't write it down. You go too fast. That's what I said the other day. Sometimes you go too yeah. fast and it's just like, nope, just, just watch. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to come. come back. Here I am coming back. We are, this is it. We're going to say thank you, everyone. I've got 
going right blue. Everyone for being here. We appreciate it. Wasn't quite as exciting as we usually do, but I was excited about the mixes. We had fun. There we go. Yes, I'm sorry it wasn't so exciting. <clears throat> it's fun. Well, it's 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 the pace. The pace of the one with the inks is much slower. It it takes more time to do, I think, because you you're coping with little. I mean, if I can get this to little blobs and splots, if I can get this these inks to a stage where I can turn them into thicker paints, we might be able to use them on the gel plate. But I haven't figured that one out yet. I I'm heading towards it but I haven't figured it out just yet. I think it's something to do with lake pigments, which sounds like quite a long procedure for each paint. But I will wait and see. There may be a shortcut. I don't know. Okay. We'll find out. Anyway, that's all for today. Okay. Bye. We are done. I'm sorry I couldn't see everybody talking because you're usually quite hilarious. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. The mad scientists are saying bye-bye.